Drew, hi, welcome. What's on the horizon for real estate? Where do you see the opportunities? Well, real estate's really in for a very interesting inflection point. As you think about how technology's impacted real estate, it's really impacted in a big way. And so here at Amherst, you know, we really see a lot of different changes on the horizon. If you think about how people are living now, think about what they're doing in the home now versus what they were doing three, four, or five years ago. They're working in the home now. They're watching movies in the home now. They're shopping from the home now. So really, as you think about the use case for real estate, you're likely to see a lot of shifts. And we think a lot of those shifts could be out of traditional real estate, like office, like retail, like lodging, like movie theaters, and into the home. What role does private capital have to play in the U.S. housing market? Um, private capital, uh, especially for what we focus on, our largest business is U.S. single family rentals. Um, and so if you think about the U.S. housing market right now, the U.S. housing market is underbuilt by three to four million units. And all of a sudden, home builders last year started building enough to keep up with demand. And then they cut all of their supply by 50 percent over the last 12 months. And so you think about the role that we as a single family rental company can play. We go in and buy homes and put $50,000 of initial repairs into it and make that a clean, safe, secure place for a family to call home. So we're really putting housing back onto the market where these families couldn't otherwise consume that real estate in terms of having a three or four bedroom home to call their own. Because a lot of consumers in America today don't have access to a mortgage to actually own that three or four bedroom house. Well, tell me more about Amherst's role then. Um, so Amherst, it, it, Amherst is set up to be a vertically integrated investment development and management company. Mm -hmm. um, and so over the course of the last 12 months, we've invested north of $500 million of private capital into these renovations. Ultimately, right now, 50,000 American families call our home their home. Um, and so it's a really, really great place to be that we can provide this service that really has been long appreciated by U.S. consumers in multifamily. So in multifamily, there's institutional big company management companies that provide 24-hour call servicing. And that was really missing from U.S. single family rental housing. Um, so we really have stepped in and trying to provide that consumer a great experience that they've come to expect. And ultimately, the ability to move into a house that they otherwise couldn't move into because of lack of mortgage credit availability in America. And what trends in this space do you think we should be looking out for in the next five, ten years? I think it all circles back to you know how technology might disintermediate real estate and the use case for real estate. So you know, ultimately, office demand has really fallen off significantly over the last couple of years, as has retail demand because a lot of that's being done from from the house. And so as you think about how real estate is owned across the globe, we think less ownership in some of these longstanding asset classes like office and retail and more ownership where there's really positive supply demand fundamentals. Um, there's very positive su supply demand fundamentals in multifamily and industrial and also single family rentals. And so I, th I think like when you roll forward the clock 10 years from now, you're likely to see a lot more institutional capital being invested into single family rentals than there is today. Just a quick little stat today, there's only a couple hundred billion dollars of investment into single family rentals, and that's likely to grow to one to two trillion dollars over the next 10 years as you think about how these portfolios are repositioned over time. True. Thank you so much. Thank you.